So, Chris Digamidis, Pontypridd Police Captain for the 2010-11 uh, season. Uh, first game of the season today, cross keys against Pontypridd. How do you feel the build up has gone? Uh, pretty well, you know, we had three uh, tough games during pre season. Uh, they've gone really, really well. Some good, uh, well, some real good wins actually against the two English sides. We had a third tough game away up there, they always going to be able to fly into us, and the boys uh, sort of well at the challenge. And obviously, the two home games then. I think we've been on fire to be honest with you. Training has gone really well as well. Uh, seems to be more of a professional attitude down here this year. Things are going really well. There's a real exciting buzz in the camp at the moment. There seems to be a good camaraderie amongst the squad that I noticed against um, against the last game we played against Coventry. There was a lot of uh, lot of back slapping going on when the tries were coming in. Is that something you're trying to instill into the players? Uh, that's something that's always been here upon. He, he was the strongest captain. Like he always encouraged us to go and give the uh, try score a tap on the back or whatever, but even more now, I think we've all grown up together and even the youngsters coming through now, it's just a great team spirit, a great team bond between us all. So, names coming through the ranks, we've seen the likes of uh, Craig Locke and uh, there's some young characters like uh, Corey Hill and, and so on and so forth. Who do you feel, there's, there's some young names doing the rounds, you've seen anyone promising in training? Not you have to say too much. Um, young prop coming up, uh, Will Griff John. Absolutely, well, he's a monster, he's great shape on him. He's only 17, 18, he's on his own now. He's a fully grown man, we've been playing senior rugby for years. He's looking really good. Um, young outside off, Lewis uh, Williams, another excellent talent. He's got spaghetti legs on him in training. He's playing touch rugby, he's uh, one of the boys he's there. He's uh, turning on six spins, so yeah, he's got some exciting youngsters coming through. And how do you feel your chances against uh, against Cross Keys today for a league opener and all that? Uh, it'll be tough. Uh, my mate, one of my mates plays Cross Keys and they've had quite a good pre-season up as well. And looking at their team sheet, you can see from 1 to 15, they're really, really strong. They've recruited well. So it will be tough, but, you know, we've trained hard. We're up for it. We just want to get on with it and crack on this either. They've got a few boys, ex-party boys going on there, haven't they? You've played the most of them. Uh, Lee Thorne, Danny Hodge, then two. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, how do you feel they'll add to cross keys of strength because they've got people like Leon Andrews from your Cardiff. Yeah, they? obviously, like you said, they've got a real strong squad up there at the moment. They've recruited well. Thorny's gone up there from here. Danny Hodge was here almost well, six years ago. A couple of games down here. He's a pain in the butt to play against. So yeah, expecting a tough one today. Any your expectations for the season, Chris? Um, well, the potential is massive within the squad. So we go looking to bring in some silver back. For not to, like I said in the meet the players today, not just for ourselves, but the supporters as well, they deserve it just as much as we do. We just go out there every game and give 100%. And on a lighter note, uh, one of our sponsors, uh, the World of Grogs, has commissioned uh, <laughs> a, a, a special Diddy Dicko. <laughs> What's the story there? Uh, basically, I think it was after the presentation night last year, I had a phone call asking if I'd mind having a grog made, which obviously is a huge honour. Yeah. So You're not going to turn it down, no, really? Straight you? away, it was, yeah, of course. And, Basically, the ball's been rolling since then, and I think, I think it's finished now, and then it goes on sale uh, end of September, I think, or maybe a bit late there. So it'll be an excellent uh, stocking filler for you Ponty fans, so uh, get the grog shop and order one. <laughs> and I've heard it's the best looking grog that's ever been made. I, I've heard that too. Chris Digamidis, thank you very That's much indeed. Problem, thank you.